Apophis became famous as an asteroid that could be dangerous for Earth when astronomers said it might come very close in 2029. More observations showed it wouldn't hit us then or during another close pass in 2036. But until March 2021, there was still a small chance it could hit in 2068. This extraordinary event will be visible from the ground without the need for a telescope or binoculars, offering a rare glimpse of a solar system relic. In today's video, we'll dive into the incredible journey of Apophis, exploring its path, the science behind its close approach, and what this means for our future in space exploration. We'll uncover how astronomers are preparing for this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to study an asteroid up close and discuss the broader implications for our understanding of the cosmos. Join me as we embark on this fascinating journey through space where we'll answer your burning questions and delve into the mysteries that make our universe so awe-inspiring. On March 5th, 2021, Apophis passed by Earth at a safe distance, giving astronomers a chance to use powerful radar to track its orbit around the Sun with great accuracy. This helped them confidently rule out any chance of an impact in 2068 or beyond. Apophis was found on June 19, 2004, by astronomers Roy Tucker, David Tholen, and Fabrizio Bernardi at the Kitt Peak National Observatory in Tucson, Arizona. However, due to technical issues and bad weather, they could only observe it for two days. Luckily, later that year, a team at the Siding Spring Observatory in Australia managed to spot the asteroid again. Since then, scientists have been closely watching Apophis using optical and radar telescopes, and they are confident about predicting its future path. NASA is now planning to redirect a spacecraft to study Apophis. After finishing its current mission of collecting samples from asteroid Bennu in 2023, the spacecraft, OSIRIS-REx, will be renamed OSIRIS Apophis Explorer, OSIRIS Apex. It will then head towards Apophis and meet it during the asteroid's flyby of Earth in 2029. After the flyby, OSIRIS Apex will orbit Apophis, giving us a never-before-seen close-up view. The spacecraft will use its thrusters to stir up dust and small rocks on and beneath Apophis's surface for detailed study. Apophis is about 1,100 feet, 340 meters wide. At its farthest, it can be about two astronomical units, AU, away from Earth. One AU is the distance from the Sun to Earth. On April 13th, 2029, Apophis is expected to pass safely within 19,794 miles, 31,860 kilometers, of Earth. This will be the closest approach of an asteroid this large that scientists have known about ahead of time. Apophis's path and Earth's orbit. Apophis, an asteroid whose path intersects with Earth's orbit, completes its journey around the Sun in just under one Earth year, approximately 0.9 years. This positions Apophis among the Atens, a group of Earth-crossing asteroids with orbits narrower than Earth's 1 AU. When Apophis has a close encounter with Earth in 2029, its orbit will widen, making it larger than Earth's orbit. This change will reclassify Apophis from an Aten to an Apollo asteroid, characterized by their orbits being wider than 1 AU. The spin and wobble of Apophis. As Apophis travels through space, it spins around its shorter axis about once every 30 hours. In addition to this primary rotation, the asteroid also exhibits a rocking motion along its longer axis, which occurs over a longer time frame. This motion, known scientifically as non-principal axis rotation, adds to the complexity of its spin. The composition and shape of Apophis. Classified as an S-type or stony-type asteroid, Apophis consists of silicate materials and a mix of metallic nickel and iron. 
Radar imagery reveals that Apophis is elongated and possibly bilobed, resembling a peanut. The upcoming 2029 flyby will provide more detailed information about its structure, offering deeper insights into its physical characteristics. Apophis, a relic of the early solar system. Like all asteroids, Apophis is a leftover piece from the early days of our solar system, roughly 4.6 billion years ago. It originated in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, but was gradually nudged by the gravitational forces of larger planets like Jupiter into an orbit closer to Earth. This journey transformed Apophis into a near-Earth asteroid, distinct from those that remain in the main asteroid belt. The origin of the name Apophis. The name Apophis is derived from the demon serpent in ancient Egyptian mythology, symbolizing evil and chaos. This name reflects the asteroid's initially perceived threat to Earth, echoing its mythological namesake's ominous nature. Surface Characteristics of Apophis While we lack high-resolution images of Apophis's surface, it is believed to resemble other stony-type asteroids such as Itokawa, from which samples have been collected and returned to Earth. These comparisons help scientists infer details about Apophis's surface until more direct observations can be made. Back in 2004, scientists discovered an asteroid named 99942 Apophis. This space rock, measuring about 1,100 feet, 340 meters across, initially caused quite a stir. Early calculations suggested that it might collide with Earth, making it one of the most dangerous asteroids known. However, as experts continued to observe Apophis and refine their data, they realized that the risk wasn't as high as they first thought. In March 2021, astronomers used advanced radar technology and precise calculations to study Apophis's path. Their detailed analysis confirmed that the asteroid won't pose any danger to Earth for at least the next hundred years. Apophis, with its massive size of about 1,100 feet, 340 meters, became infamous when early predictions indicated a very close approach to Earth in 2029. This brought it into the spotlight as a significant potential threat. Further detailed observations helped scientists rule out any possibility of Apophis impacting Earth in 2029 and another close encounter in 2036. However, until early 2021, there remained a slim chance of an impact in the year 2068. When Apophis made a close pass by Earth on March 5th, 2021, astronomers took the opportunity to gather more data using powerful radar. This allowed them to refine the asteroid's orbit even further. Their new calculations showed that there was no risk of a 2068 impact, confirming that Apophis will not threaten Earth for a very long time. A 2068 impact is no longer possible, and our calculations show no risk for at least the next 100 years, stated Davide Fanocchia from NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies. Thanks to recent optical and radar observations, the uncertainty in Apophis's path has been reduced significantly, from hundreds of kilometers to just a few when predicting its position in 2029. In 2029, the precise tracking of Apophis has given us a clear picture of its path, allowing scientists to confidently remove it from the list of potential Earth impact threats. Davide Fanocchia from CNEOS, Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, referred to the Century Impact Risk Table, a critical tool that monitors asteroids with orbits dangerously close to Earth. Thanks to recent data, Apophis no longer appears on this list, relieving many of a long-standing concern. CNEOS uses optical telescopes and ground-based radar systems to track near-Earth objects, refining our understanding of their orbits to predict potential hazards. These high-precision calculations support NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office, providing crucial data to safeguard our planet. In 2021, 
astronomers turned to the 70-meter, 230-foot radio antenna at the Deep Space Network's Goldstone Complex in California to meticulously track Apophis. This advanced equipment allowed them to measure its trajectory with stunning accuracy. Despite Apophis passing Earth at a distance of nearly 10.6 million miles, 17 million kilometers, scientists, led by JPL's Marina Brozovic, could pinpoint its position within about 150 meters. This remarkable precision not only ruled out any imminent danger, but also opened the door for further scientific exploration. In an impressive feat, Goldstone collaborated with the 100-meter, 330-foot, Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia. This bistatic experiment, where Goldstone transmitted signals and Green Bank received them, significantly enhanced the clarity and strength of the data collected. The radar team continues to delve into the data, aiming to uncover more about Apophis's shape. Earlier radar images hinted at a bilobed or peanut-like form, a common characteristic among large near-Earth asteroids, with about one in six sharing this distinctive shape. Moreover, astronomers are striving to better understand the asteroid's rotation and spin state. This information is vital as Apophis approaches Earth in 2029. Our planet's gravity could alter its spin, potentially causing asteroid quakes, a phenomenon where the asteroid's surface shakes and shifts. In essence, the detailed tracking of Apophis not only dispelled fears of a catastrophic collision, but also provided a unique scientific opportunity to study an asteroid's behavior under the influence of Earth's gravitational field. This research enriches our knowledge and enhances our ability to predict and prepare for future encounters with near-Earth objects. So guys, what do you think of this? Write down your comments below. If you like the video, please like and share the video. And subscribe to the channel for more interesting contents on our universe.